Hi, welcome. This is Debbie. Today I'd like to show you how I use multiple pale pastel colors to create the whites on these dogwoods. You can find the list of the colors on my palette in the description below. And what I'm starting here is just laying down some of these cool color um, pastel tones. And they um, kind of just blend together. And right now they look really pale, but as they dry, they'll get darker. Towards the center of the flower, I like to use this green gold and yellow mixture. Um, just so it kind of blends in with the green centers later on. I'm just layering some colors here just to blend them together. Um, some areas I like to leave kind of choppy like. And then the green gold um, I usually overlay near the center again just to give it that pop of brightness. Right here I'm mixing some white and neutral gray number eight um, just to add some non-color area here and then again I like to blend it just a little bit but keep the paint kind of chunky and free like. Alright in the shadowy areas here I'm going to add that pop of lavender color and I love how the green gold here sits next to it and it really pops. Now as I go around the painting here I'm aware of where the colors are laying and you can see there's a gap here between those two light blue areas. I want to make sure that I don't have light blue next to light blue. Alright, here I'm adding the gray and white mixture here on the parts of the petals that are flipped up. And it's just that they're highlighted and uh, lighter colors come forward, darker colors appear to come back. So that kind of helps create dimension in the petals. Um, as I continue going around I'm remembering to use that green gold there near the centers and you can see a little peek here of the different varieties of strokes of color how some are darker some are lighter and I love that variety that you can see now I'm starting on the centers of the dogwoods here and I'm just using kind of a mixture of the turquoise with the green gold and sap green and I just want it darker and then later I'll add the pops of highlight on top of it to create that texture. All right, I'm mixing some more um, colors here, maybe a little darker tone to add some shadowy areas here and the folds here of the petals. And again, make sure I have that green near the center. As I add the dark areas in, I'm also adding some texture here of lines showing the folds or ridges in the petals. Also, I'm using just pure titanium white here to show more folds and highlighted areas. Thank you. 
right I'm done with most of the flower petals so I'm going to create the branch color here and uh, I tried it out a lighter color using the pinks the red iron oxide and titanium white but it comes out like a too light it doesn't stand out so I'm going to mix in some of the ultramarine blue in with the red iron oxide to create a darker brown and as I paint it I still want that color underneath to pop through because I want to keep it chunky as well All right, I don't want to keep the branches all brown. I want to keep it very impressionistic. So I'm adding some greens and later on you'll see where I've used some uh, darker pinks and even some pops of turquoise in there just to make it fun and more interesting. Next is the leaves that I'm painting and I want to make sure that I keep a variety of colors going here so that each leaf is slightly different. I also add little highlighted areas and veins just for texture and interest as well. Next I'm going to um, add the texture of the little florets in the center of the dogwood here and I build up from a medium light to even lighter uh, just so it gives it more dimension. And I add a little shadowy areas just so it's not a complete circle. I'm going to be using the red iron oxide and magenta to create that pinkish brown color that you normally see at the ends of the dogwood petals where they are indented. And I also use that same color in on the branches just so that your eye moves around and they kind of speak to each other. It's background time, so now I've chosen a pink color because I want to keep with the pastel theme and the spring look. And I'm going to um, mix all my pinks together, the magenta and the neon pink, but also dull it out a little bit by mixing some cad red light in there. And as I paint, um, I'm just using the smaller brush here so I can get into the little areas. After I finished with the background, I noticed there wasn't enough contrast here. So I want to add in a darker pink with more magenta in there. Just to kind of outline the sides. But then I noticed it still wasn't popping and it looked too cartoon-like. So I decided to do a lighter pink and leave some of the darker uh, around the edges here. And I like how it kind of glows and creates that uh, light effect here and there is contrast between the petals and the background now. Oops, I missed a leaf here, so I need to fill that in. I'm all finished now. Here is the completed palette. Now you can see I've mixed some purple and some more turquoise here, and I've added them at the last minute just to add some more interest and contrast. And I love that teal and how it pops at the edges of the petals. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would help me a lot. Thanks.